What is going on guys? Welcome back to another video. And in this tutorial, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to create this super cool effect using this one plugin for After Effects. And the plugin that you're gonna need for this effect is called Displacer Pro. I'm gonna leave a link in the description of this video where you can go ahead and download this for free right here. So yeah, once you have Displacer Pro installed, you can just go into your effects and presets and just search up Displacer Pro and it'll be an effect right here that you can just drag onto your clip. And it looks somewhat similar to Displacement Map, but I'm gonna show you guys later on what you can change and what is different from the Displacement Map and this Displacer Pro. But before we go ahead and apply the effects, we want to first go ahead and rotoscope out our car. So using the rotor brush right here, we're going to go ahead and double click this layer right here and it'll open up a new panel. And we just want to go ahead and outline our car. And obviously you want to fix up this rotor brush. And once your rotor brush is looking good for the first frame, you just want to go frame by frame, fixing up the rotor brush if it messes up at all. As you can see on this light right here, we want to fix that up. We are good for the rest of the frames here. It doesn't really mess up at all. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is hit freeze right here and it's just going to freeze all of our rotor brushed frames so that it doesn't mess around when we're applying our effects and then we can close out of that layer and now we're back in our main composition here and what we want to do is duplicate this layer so we're going to hit Control d duplicate that and then on the bottom layer just delete that rotor brush and on the bottom layer we're going to go ahead and apply that effect that we just downloaded displacer pro drag that onto our clip the first thing that we want to go ahead and change is this right here the edge behavior to repeat so now when we move these things around the edges repeat so it's not just those black like borders and what's different about this plugin is that we can actually change the rotate here and some other little things that you can change like chromatic aberration here we can mess with the reds and all that like this so you can get some pretty crazy effects as you can see right there but what i'm going to do for this example here is set a keyframe for the rotate at zero at the start of our timeline then go to the middle of the timeline here or the middle of the clip and bring this to like 90 degrees and then go to the very end and bring that back down to zero. So now when we play this back, you can see that it is rotating 90 degrees and then just going back to zero. But I don't like how it's like that robotic movement. I kind of want to smooth it out. So I'm going to highlight all these keyframes here. Hit F9 on your keyboard to easy ease them and then go into the graph editor. And we're going to create a graph that is going to look something like this. You can see it kind of like ramps up. And then it goes out super fast. So I want to play this back. And obviously you can mess with this. It doesn't have to be exactly like that. If we mess with this graph just a little bit, we can create an animation that looks totally different from what I just did. So now with a graph looking something like this, when we play it back, as you can see, it speeds up super fast at the start and it speeds out at the end. But I liked how I had it before. So I'm just going to change that graph back to what I had earlier all right so there we go now we can just leave our graph editor there and now back in the effects panel here i'm actually going to set a keyframe for the green right here at the start of our timeline go back into the middle there on that keyframe let's just change this value to around 1.07 so we can see the effect being applied and then go back to the end and bring that back down to one so now we get like some chromatic aberration there now obviously you can do this for other effects or other colors like red and blue. So I'm just going to set a keyframe for the red here at the start. Go to the middle. Let's bring that up a little bit like that. And then go to the end and bring that back down to one. So now you can see what we have now. Looks a little bit different than what we had before. So that's kind of cool. And obviously you can mess with a lot of other effects here like the scale. We can scale this out if we want. So it slowly just starts to scale outward like that. Now you can see you get a super trippy effect. Like I don't even know what's going on there, but there's a lot of things that you can mess around with in this effect. That's why I like it so much. And the map adjustments here, you can even go into here and invert the map. And this will create a super crazy effect as well. So as you can see, there's just tons of different things you can do with this effect here. If I go up to the map softness here and just crank that up, you can now see that the displacement is more like soft, which makes sense why it's called the map softness. But yeah, when we crank this up, you can see it's more bubbleized, I guess. But yeah, if you guys enjoyed this new effect and enjoyed this video, then make sure to drop a like and subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you guys on the next video. Peace out.